Chapter on the Statement of Allah And you shall certainly hear much that will grieve you from those who received the scripture before you, Jews and Christians, and from those who ascribe partners to Allah. Quran, Chapter 3, Verse 186 Narrated Usama bin Zayd, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, rode a donkey, equipped with Qathifa Fadakiyya, a thick cloth covering made in Fadak and I was riding behind him. He was going to pay a visit to Sa'ad bin Ubada in Banu al-Hadith bin al-Khazraj, and this incident happened before the Battle of Badr. The Prophet peace be upon him passed by a gathering in which Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul was present, and that was before Abdullah bin Ubay embraced Islam. Behold, in that gathering there were mixa people of different religions. There were Muslims, Mushrikun, idol worshippers, and Jews. And in that gathering, Abdullah bin Rawaha was also present. When a cloud of dust raised by the donkey reached that gathering, Abdullah bin Urbay covered his nose with his garment and then said, Do not cover us with dust. Then Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, greeted them and stopped and dismounted and invited them to Allah, that is, to embrace Islam, and recited to them the Noble Quran. On that, Abdullah bin Urbay bin Salul said, O man, there is nothing better than that what you say. If it is the truth, then do not trouble us with it in our gatherings. Return to your mount or residence, and if somebody comes to you, relate your tales to him. On that, Abdullah bin Rawaha said, Yes, O Allah's Messenger, bring it. That is what you want to say to us in our gatherings, for we love that. So the Muslims, al mushrikun and the Jews started abusing one another till they were on the point of fighting with one another. The Prophet peace be upon him kept on quietening them till they became quiet, whereupon Prophet peace be upon him rode his animal, mount, and proceeded till he entered upon Sa'ad bin Urbada. The Prophet peace be upon him said to Sa'ad, Did you not hear what Abu Hubab said? He meant Abdullah bin Urbay. He said, So and so. On that, Sa'ad bin Urbada said, O Allah's Messenger, Excuse and forgive him, for by him who revealed the book to you, Allah brought the truth which was sent to you at the time when the people of this town, that is al Madina, had decided unanimously to crown him and tie a turban on his head, electing him as chief. But when Allah opposed that decision through the truth which Allah gave to you, he, that is Abdullah bin Urbay, was grieved with jealousy, and that caused him to do what you have seen. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, excused him. For the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his companions used to forgive al mushrikun and the people of Scripture, as Allah had ordered them, and they used to put up with their mischief with patience. Allah said, And you shall certainly hear much that will grieve you from those who received the Scripture before you, Jews and Christians, and from those who ascribe partners to Allah. Quran. Chapter 3, verse 186 And Allah also said, Many of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, wish that if they could turn you away as disbelievers after you have believed, out of envy from their own selves. Quran, chapter 2, verse 109 So the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to stick to the principle of forgiveness for them as long as Allah ordered him to do so, till Allah permitted fighting them. So when Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, fought the battle of Badr, and Allah killed the nobles of Quraysh infidels through him, Ibn Urbay bin Salul, and al mushrikun and idolaters who were with him said, This matter, that is Islam, has appeared, that is, became victorious. So they gave the bayar pledge for embracing Islam to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and became Muslims.